Hello friends, today I will show you how to make an OpenCV and Python based phase, uh, phase tracking system. So as you can see it consists of three parts, the servos, so these are the things that will move our camera around, so I am just uh, simply have one servo double sided taped onto a box, I have the other servo zipped tight onto the uh, horns of the first servo and then onto that I have taped my two cameras, the reason there is two cameras here is because one of them is just for recording the YouTube video and the other one is for recording the uh, clip so uh, for you it's just one camera is needed so now the uh, schematics of this is pretty simple so I'll leave it down in the description but basically both of them are servers are just connected to pin number 10 and 9 on the microcontroller and uh, obviously they are powered the ground and the uh, VCC now this uh, is also uh, both not only is it connected to the computer using the USB for the serial inputs but also it has the uh, the uh, 12 volt power jack in because it, it needs to move the servos and powering it with just through the USB is quite uh, like it's jittery and sometimes it glitches out so it doesn't work properly. Now this is basically it for the physical part. It's a very simple on the hardware part, but in this project, unlike most of my other projects, the software is which is more important and which is more complicated. So I'll show you the software now. Okay, so as you can see, I have the coding part opened up. So this consists of two parts of coding. One is running on the uh, Arduino. It's this part here. So let me explain this first. So obviously here we are just taking the uh, X and Y servos. And we are first here we are just uh, taking them as integers. Now we, here we are attaching the servos. And we are writing them to 99 each. And we are beginning the serial. Now here this is where the data is coming in. So it, from both these parts, this part is reading the serial data which is being sent by the python code which I will be showing and explaining in just a second. Then it takes that serial data and it will then convert it to the uh, PWM output for the servers and it then it will write the respective server positions based on the serial data which is coming in from the Arduino, uh, sorry, from the python code. Now this Arduino part is quite simple as it's just two servers connected to the microcontroller but what is more complicated is the python part. So now as you can see I am using PyCharm for this instead of using the default python IDE it's because I feel it's a bit easier so as you can see when we run the code uh, it will open up the uh, IMG dialog box which is basically our video and as you can see it moves the servers based on where my face is and it will keep try and keep me in the frame basically wherever I go so now if we stop this code here I will show you just about how this works so First of all, before we get started, you have to import your CV2 that is OpenCV serial and time libraries. Now, for this, in order for this to work, we have to first open up a command uh, command uh, prompt. So we have to click Windows and R. Then we have to type here CMD and click OK. So that will open up your command prompt. Now here we will use a command known as pip. So pip is basically for installing for Python, installing libraries. So we will do. Uh, pip uh, 3 so we'll use pip 3 if your pip is not upgraded you can use install the i'll leave the commands down you can use the upgrade pip command which will also be down in the description but basically we will use pip install uh, serial for the serial part so as you can okay, misspell spelled install so we'll use pip install serial that will show us that the, currently because mine is working it's already in the serial is already in the uh, at its uh, its uh, location. So next we will install uh, same thing. We'll install Pi serial this time. This is a serial for Python. So we'll go ahead and in install Pi serial. As you can see, it is also installed in my case. Next we will go ahead and install uh, OpenCV Python. So we will type OpenCV dash Python. This all of these commands will be down in the description. Now, okay, I think I mispronounced that, but basic uh, basic concept is we will uh, once we type all these commands, it will show the Python and OpenCV and all those installed down in the description. The commands, proper commands, will be. I think I misspelled or mispronounced did something here, but it works. So once you have installed all those, you can check them in your uh, PyCharm library here. So if you click on Python packages, I'll just give it a second to open. Uh, so as you can see in here, you'll see all of your installs. So you see serial, you see pi serial, 
and in your open cv dash python i don't know what i mispronounced spelled there but basically you'll see something now there are some other things i have for our different project which will also be coming very soon so now uh, once you have done that you want to take this entire code and you want to paste uh, put it into a new python project but remember this python project has to be in a same folder as this other file down here this is a uh, the uh, thing it the open it's a open cv dependency which it will use to uh, track the faces so as you can see here we are importing them in here now this is also very important so here we are just telling it which com port uh, the uh, pipe uh, the arduino is connected so mine is open uh, on com port 3 so in most in most cases i have seen they will directly default to com03 but if you are you can find that out from the arduino id here so if you go here go ahead and go into tools you'll see port and you'll see all your com ports and you'll see the one with the arduino you know so as you can see it's com3 so here i have com3 here and then we are just mentioning the uh, baud rate so that is the one you'll see uh, in serial monitor if you click you'll see it's 9600 baud by default on the arduinos that's basically the default for all arduinos what uh, the unos they refer prefer 9600 now then we are just here basically we are saying that when the camera is open so yeah one more thing we might want to change here is the video capture source so there might be multiple webcams connected to your computer like I showed in mine uh, so in that case you might want to change up which webcam you have you, you are using so that change this number to zero to how many other webcams you have you can have multiple sources like for example I use OBS so there is one as OBS virtual camera there are several other webcams as well so that you might have to do a little bit of experimenting to see which one is the webcam you would like to use next down here we will just saying when the camera is open we will read there then we will first flip the image this is to just because because the camera is already mirroring the image once so we will just flip it again to get the proper image then we will convert it from color, uh, blue green red that is colored to grey we will do this in grey gray scale because it makes it easier for the uh, oh, easier for the computer because obviously it has to process multiple frames every second uh, and it has to do that in real time as well so it, uh, it will just trying and making it as much easier for the computer as possible to pre reduce the lag then we just string the xy coordinates onto the Arduino so the way we are doing it is we have the x coordinate the y coordinate and the width and height of the face so we are just doing x plus width by 2 and y plus width by 2 that's what we are doing for uh, the uh, coordinates for the uh, microcontroller to straight put it to the microcontroller then we'll print the coordinates here as you can see when you run it in the run menu you'll see all the coordinates being printed there and then we're just uh, writing the uh, encoded data through the serial then this is just for our convenience we are set, uh, plotting the center of the face which is x plus w by 2 and y plus w by 2 then we are pl pl uh, pl plotting the uh, center region and the uh, entire red part ar border around the face you saw so this was the green dot on the center of the face which is usually on the nose and this is the red circle red uh, rectangle you saw around the face so this is just for that x y w plus x plus w y plus is that up? yeah that's that and then down here you'll see this is the center of the frame so this is not anything to do with x y w and h this is just the center of the screen just to make it easier to show that now here we are just uh, telling it to show the uh, image the frame named img so you can change it anything you'd like this is just that so this is basically it now here we are just saying if you press the q uh, key just to break this so you can either click the stop button or you can play, press the q key to quit this that's so that's basically the python code for this case now if you run this as I showed before as well if you run this you first try and connect and then once it connects up to your R microcontroller you will see that the once you put it into position the uh, microcontroller will start uh, changing its its position the uh, using the servers it will move the camera to keep you in the frame as much as possible now since I am using a pretty low quality webcam in fact uh, it's not a very wide angle video so it has very difficult time keeping me in the camera but if you use something better like a smartphone camera or something like that or a, uh, like a logitech webcam or something like that it will have a easier time as the uh, 
we are much wider perspective anyways but that's basically the uh, way this entire project works so as you can see when i press the q it will just close the thing close the uh, the entire project so that's basically it for this project i hope you guys li uh, liked it and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and please stay tuned uh, as i will be posting a face uh, recognition system as well very soon it's also based on open cv but so yeah if you want to see that uh, subscribe and just wait for some time it will be up very soon after this video so th i hope you guys enjoyed and uh, thank you